You ever wonder what the top countries are to meet beautiful women? Today, that's what you're gonna discover. What's going on, man? My name is Dave, and over the last seven years, I've been all over the world and back. It's been tough to travel with the pandemic, but over this next year, as things begin to lift, you'll have a chance to travel the world too. So today, I'll give you my honest opinion about the best countries to meet cool, sexy women. Make sure to stick around all the way to the end though, because I have a few honorable mentions that you'll definitely want to see too. So now, let's get this countdown started and make sure to comment below if you think I missed any. Number seven is Thailand. So I spent a month in Bangkok a few years ago and I have a lot of friends who live there and absolutely love it. I remember when I was going there, I switched my Tinder to Bangkok and I got like 500 matches in an hour. It was insane. It's pretty cheap as well. I found some places with $1 pad thai, couldn't get enough of it. The party scene is pretty crazy too. They like to party late and they have to get after it. One thing you do gotta watch out for though, and I think this is probably like a top five worry when you're in Thailand, is the lady boys. There are a lot of lady boys in Bangkok and they can be pretty deceiving. Some of them look pretty good. I will give you one way to tell if a girl is a lady boy. So all men have a bump in the back of their head. Women don't have this bump in the back of their skull. So if you're talking to a girl, you feel the back of her head, she's got it, that's it. So yeah, just try to be aware of that so you don't get yourself into any uncomfortable situations. But hey, if you're into that kind of thing, I'm not gonna judge you. But yeah, overall, Bangkok is a lot of fun. A lot of great beach areas too. And you can even do some boxing, some kickboxing, some Muay Thai. A lot of fun to be had in Thailand. Now you might've heard of this one before. Ukraine is famous for having some of the sexiest, most beautiful women in the world and it does not disappoint. I was there a few years ago and you know, the parties are fun, the girls are super receptive when you're, when you're trying to flirt and talk to them and the prices are pretty cheap too. When I went there, I stayed in Independence Square which is sort of like right in the center of the city. A lot of cool things right in walking distance, some cool nightlife, some cool malls, some cool stuff like that. It's also, to my knowledge, been one of these places that has stayed pretty open throughout the pandemic and it's actually, I think, still pretty easy to travel there so if you're looking to escape some lockdowns, that could be an option for you. I will say the English level isn't super high, so it might be helpful to learn some Russian phrases. And if you're gonna learn a language, Russian is gonna suit you better than Ukrainian. Pretty much everyone there speaks Russian. And if you ever decide to go to Russia, which also has a lot of sexy girls, then you can actually use that to your advantage. By the way, man, if you're liking this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button really helps the YouTube algorithm. They've been killing me with the traffic lately. So, you know, hit that like button, help me out, give me a little bit of support, and I appreciate you big time, bro. So people say Berlin is like a different country compared to the rest of Germany. It's the only city I've been to there, but I can say it's pretty damn unique. It's filled with sexy German girls, plus it's super international as well, so you meet girls from all over the world and all over Europe. One thing I love is that people are super social and friendly there, so approaching is super easy. That's why I made a couple of approach videos there and, and they were great. Almost everyone speaks English too, so communication is pretty seamless. Plus, Germany and Berlin, especially in the summertime, is an amazing place. There's so many cool parks. The weather is amazing. You can bike all around the city. There's easy lanes to get around. It was like the perfect destination to be in like May and June. Quick tip for Berlin though, it's actually pretty hipster, especially like the nightlife scene. Most people actually dress down to go out. So you probably don't wanna get super dressed up and looking all fancy. Just like a black t-shirt and some jeans is gonna do you just fine. It's actually like the Berlin nightlife uniform. Also, make sure if you're going up to a club, know the DJ and know at least one or two of their songs. I remember the bouncer asked me that a few different times and if I didn't know, he wouldn't let me in. It didn't matter if I was like with three or four girls, that was it. So yeah, be prepared for that, but Germany and Berlin in the summertime, amazing places. Highly recommend them, some great girls as well. So I only spent a week in Taiwan, I was over in Taipei, but I got super great vibes from it. I'd even go so far as to say if there was one city in Asia that I would live in, Bangkok would be right up there, but I would probably pick Taipei to live. The culture is more Western than most Asian countries, plus a lot of people speak English there, so it's pretty easy to have conversations and talk to girls. Women know how to dress well, fitness is big there, and the city itself is beautiful. You get a mix of like a big downtown aspect as well as like nature. There's some crazy nature there, and there's just a lot of cool stuff to do. Plus, the night 
nightlife is great. And speaking of that, if you're gonna go to Taipei, definitely try to get a spot as close to Taipei 101 as possible. That's the big building in the middle of the city. And what's great about that is that there's tons of cool nightlife right around that building. Plus, lots of cool restaurants, lots of cool stuff to do. You can't go wrong. So I know American girls get a lot of hate, especially for these guys who like to live in Latin America, hang out with the Latinas or the guys hanging out in Asia. But I will say that there's a lot of good things to like about American girls. The fitness culture is huge. They're well educated. They get a great sense of humor. Plus, a lot of the sexiest girls in the world go to America just for the opportunities that it has. If you're in places like Austin, Miami, Los Angeles, New York City, you're gonna get exposed to high quality girls. You're gonna have opportunities to meet them. It's just a matter of, hey, are you leveling up enough? You know, are you on your grind to the point where you know how to communicate with them effectively and have a good time with them? Now, if you think it's hard or shitty to meet girls in America, you're either sour and you suck with girls and you need to do something to improve it, or you're in the wrong city or both. I mean, if you're in a small town, pretty much anywhere is gonna suck. I've talked about this before, but small towns are not ideal for meeting girls. Most of the hottest girls in a small town are gonna go to a bigger city because that's where the opportunities are. Not just to meet cooler guys, but also you know work opportunities, modeling, that type of stuff. This oftentimes dries out the small town, so you have very little opportunities to meet attractive girls. So if you're a small town guy, I recommend getting out of there. Go meet some girls in a big city, see how it goes. Now I'm sure you heard of this one, Colombia is known for having some of the sexiest girls in the world and they definitely do not disappoint either. I lived over in Medellin for about five or six months back in like 2016 and it's a great time. It's a place where people care a lot about their appearance, it's a little bit superficial. So the girls are out there looking good, they're hitting the gym, they're getting plastic surgery if you're into that kind of thing and they're trying to look as good as possible. The English level is not great, so learning a little bit of Spanish is gonna go a long way. That's actually where I decided to learn Spanish. I was over there for a few weeks, I realized like 2% of people spoke English. It's like, man, I can't do this shit anymore, I'm gonna start learning. Within a few months, I was conversationally fluent. It surprisingly wasn't that hard to learn, and it's a skill that's benefited me to this day, so I highly recommend, if not learning Spanish, learn some type of language. For me, I took an hour of lessons like two or three times a week, you know, some one-on-one -on -one lessons, and then I would use what I learned to go out and flirt with girls at night. It was a fun time, that's the best way to learn. Quick tip, if you go to Medellin, my favorite places to stay are Poblado and Laureles. There's tons of nightlife and stuff to do in both of those places. You're gonna have a good time. Yes guys, number one is Mexico. I know this might be a surprise to some of you guys, but you know, there's a reason I've been living in Mexico for the last three to four years. It gets a bad rap, and sure, there are dangerous parts of the country, but overall, it's a great place to live, and there's some great women. And what's great about Mexico City specifically is that a lot of the hottest Latina girls in all of, you know, South America, Latin America, they all come to Mexico City, because that's where, like, the acting opportunities, the modeling opportunities, just like the, all the, you know, the opportunities for attractive girls in general are gonna be in this city. Plus, Mexican girls just have a great sense of humor. They have, you know, the, the awesomeness of, of a Latina girl, like the spiciness, the fun, but then they also can relate to you on sort of that, that Western level in terms of like the American humor. So it's super easy to have conversations with them. There's a lot more English here in Mexico than there is in Colombia, and it's a lot of fun. Plus the tacos, you can't go wrong with them. Some of my other favorite places in Mexico include Guadalajara, Playa del Carmen, Tulum is pretty cool as well, although it's getting kind of influencery. Now I promise you guys some honorable mentions that didn't make the top seven, so here they are. First up, we got Brazil. I've never been to Brazil my, myself, so that's why I didn't include it in this list, but I have a lot of friends who've been there. I have Brazilian guy friends, and they all just can't stop raving to me about how sexy the girls are, so that's probably worth checking out as well. Argentina is another one. I've heard only good things about the Argentina women from my buddies who've been there. Plus, because of inflation, Argentina is pretty damn cheap right now, so might be worth looking into. Greece is great as well. You know, a lot of people don't think of Greece and beautiful women sort of in the same sentence, but 
I went to Thessaloniki a few years ago and I was blown away by how many beautiful girls there were. It's like this small little town and it was crazy to me. You can't go wrong. I gotta shout out those Canadian girls as well. A lot of similar qualities to American girls, but they're probably a little bit nicer and cooler. Maybe they should have been on this list too. But yeah guys, these are my top countries for meeting beautiful women. If you go to any of these cities or countries, I guarantee you will not be disappointed. Now I'm curious though, if you have any favorite countries not on this list, Make sure to drop a comment below, let me know. Remember, I haven't been to every single country in the world yet. And if you wanna see me pick up girls in some of these countries, you can check out this playlist right here, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.